Question 7. Calculate 48 divided by 3. So we've got to divide. Now with division, there are two ways of doing this. So the most efficient and quickest way, because we're dividing by a small number, less than 10, would be to use the bus shelter. So we'd set it up like this. How many 3's go into 48? So how many 3's go into 4? That's once with one left over, one lot of three is three, and there's one left over to make four. And now this one makes 18. So how many threes go into 18? Six threes are 18, and there's no none left over. So the answer is 16. If you haven't learned that way, you can do it using the chunking method. Again, you set it up in the same way, threes into 48. And the chunking method is like repeated subtraction. So you repeatedly subtract chunks of 3 from 48 till you've got nothing left. So an easy chunk of 3 to subtract would be 10 lots of 3. And 10 lots of 3 is 30. So if we subtract 30 from 48, see what we've got left over. 8 take away 0 is 8. And 4 take away 3 is 1. So we're now down to 18. And that was 10 lots of 3. So another chunk of 3 that we can subtract. At this point, if you know your times tables, you should know that 6 3's make 18. So if I take 6 lots of 3 off. 6 lots of 3 is 18. 8 take away 8 is 0. 1 take away 1 is 0. So you've got nothing left. So once you've got nothing left, the whole point of chunking is that you count up how many chunks you've done. So we've got a chunk of 10, and we've got a chunk of 6. If we add those together, my chunk of 10 and my chunk of 6, that means we've done 16 chunks altogether. 10 and 6 is 16, which is exactly what we got when we did it this way. It's up to you which way you use, but I would always recommend uh, that the quickest way with dividing by a number less than 10 is the bus shelter and the chunking method is probably go definitely going to be better if you're dividing by numbers much bigger than 10.